Hi everyone, uh, I'm uh, just going to tell you a little bit about one of our projects, the Biophilic Urbanism. We've got two other beautiful projects that no doubt Charlie is able to fully tell you about, but the Biophilic Urbanism is about the importance of natural areas in a city, uh, including the new techniques or technologies really of green roofs, green walls, green edges of buildings, so landscaping the city. And there are many reasons why this is being done. Air conditioning the city is one of them. That's where it started in Chicago, where they now have 600 green roofs. Reducing stormwater surges, re insulating buildings to reduce their energy needs, and the sheer beauty and art of these uh, installations, which are thought to improve productivity. And, and that's um, certainly why a place like Toronto has instituted planning rules that mean every new commercial building must have a green roof. Now we're doing an economic analysis of this. It, it includes some case studies uh, like Toronto. Uh, I'm just back from Singapore, which is perhaps the most innovative city in this space. And I want to just quickly show you two examples. One is the KTP Hospital and the other one's 158 Cecil Street. KTP is um, really setting a new standard of biophilic buildings because every part of the hospital is draped in greenery so that every person who is in that hospital, whether they're working there or they're a patient there, can see nature and experience nature close at hand. And they have a daily dose of it, as uh, Tim Beatley says. Um, now the theory behind this is that it helps in the healing process. Um, but the spin-offs have been that the public just love it. They really want to experience it. So they come in their hordes. Schools do tours and people uh, just hang out there on the internet and so on just to be part of the experience. There are all kinds of beautiful gardens. And interestingly, they have a community garden on the roof in order to uh, enable them to produce food, local organic food that is um, clearly uh, able to be used in the, in the hospital itself and they sell it to the public. Um, 158 Cecil Street is a regenerated building that had a facade on it that had failed. It was an ugly facade and, and the whole of the office facilities had turned their back on that front side of the building. Um, the architect decided to rejuvenate it using nature as an art form uh, and has created a, an awesome look that is like a cathedral when you see it, when you see the, the, uh, the, the extent of it going right up the building. And um, what has happened as a result is that the offices have turned around they face into this beautiful space now. It's improved the value of the office enormously and people just love to be there. So the productivity benefits of this sort of thing uh, have not yet been measured. We'll attempt to do some of that work, but uh, it is uh, quite a story and I think it will revolutionise the, um, the way in which cities are built. Uh, all of the new building in Singapore now, if you see the advertisements, real estate advertisements and so on, show this greening as a major feature and I believe it, it is going to spread very quickly. Uh, this story is part of a longer film that we're making and uh, hopefully it will be something that we can take around uh, with SBE to show this unfolding story. Thanks.